Hello everyone. Welcome to the third part of the Vesidial Visual Configuration series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a basic Vesidial setup to having agents making outbound calls on a live campaign. We will learn how to create a campaign with a basic configuration, change group access, create a new user, and finally log into the agent panel and make outbound calls. Let's get started. In this step, we're going to create a basic campaign. To create a campaign, log in as an administrator and select Campaigns. Add a new campaign. We can give the campaign an ID, for example, Demo Campaign. The campaign name will be Demo Campaign, and the campaign description will also be Demo Campaign. We'll use the user group that we created earlier. The campaign should be active. We don't need to set the on-hold music or the web form for this basic configuration. We just want to set up a very basic campaign for outbound calls. For now, Set the campaign for 24 hours and submit. The demo campaign is added and you are redirected to the detailed view of this campaign. Here you'll find many options that you can use to customize your campaign. For now, we're only changing two options. Look for the allow new hopper option and set it to yes. Do the same for new hopper dialing. This will allow us to connect to the campaign even though we haven't loaded any leads into the campaign yet. We'll learn how to load leads and make a preview call in the next video. Change these two options and submit. In this step, we need to give our user group access to the new campaign we just created. Select User Groups, choose the demo user group you created, then in the Campaign section, select Demo and submit. To add a new user, select Users and add a new user. Give it a number or name, for example, 4004. For the password, set it to be the same as the username. It's better to set a complex password, but there is an option that allows the user to change their password upon first login. So, I set the password the same as the username and will ask the agents to change their password. Let's name this user after myself. The user level can be set to 1 for now. Select the demo user group. For the phone login, you can set the phone we created, for example, 1001, but this isn't important for now. You can also leave this field blank. As you can see, the user is added. We have several options to choose from and modify here for user permissions, but what we want to change now is just manual calling. Look for manual and set agent call manual dial to one, so our agents can make manual calls, then submit. To log into the agent panel, you first need to launch Zoiper. We learned how to configure and register the extension in the first part. If you don't know how to register or create the extension, please refer to that video. Launch Zoiper and make sure it's registered. Then select Agent Login. The first field is for the phone login. Our phone extension was 1001, and the password we set was the same. Our user login is the user we created, so my user was 4004, and the password was the same. Select the demo campaign and submit. Zoiper will ring, answer it. You are now the only person in this queue. Keep the call going, don't hang up Zoiper. Our system is now ready. Here is the Vesidial agent panel. To make a manual call, select manual dial. Enter the number you want to call and dial. That's how we go from a basic Vesidial setup to having agents making outbound calls on a live campaign. In the next video, we'll learn how to create campaigns and use what we've done in this video and the previous one. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorial videos. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. The largest stock of VoIP with dozens of brands. With us, you will find what matches your budget and needs. And most importantly, everything comes with a warranty on the equipment and installation.